Salam Trainer with Android Salam Tips. In this video, I am going to discuss very common and important topic for NCLEX RN exam that is influenza or flu. Influenza is contagious respiratory infection caused by influenza virus and which is commonly found in winter season and it get usually transmitted from one person to another person through droplet. Remember this is a viral infection and it is contagious disease and it get transmitted from one person to another person through droplet. Symptoms of influenza always varies from person to person. It can be mild symptoms, moderate symptoms and severe symptoms. Basically severe and moderate kind of symptoms are usually expected in a group those who are after age 65 years of age and those who are receiving medications like chemotherapeutic medications immunosuppressive kind of medications as well as steroids. Remember, those who are receiving chemotherapeutic medications, immunosuppressive medications and corticosteroid medications, for them, they are considered as immunocompromised. So, in immunocompromised group, they may experience subject sign of influenza. So, what are the subject signs of influenza? That is mental confusion, extreme fatigue, weakness, anorexia. So these are basically considered as subtle sign of influenza. And these kind of signs are commonly expected during winter season. So being a registered nurse, you have to be very cautious. You have to assess the signs and symptoms of influenza for high risk groups. Signs and symptoms of influenza include sudden onset of fever, sore throat, chest congestion, myalgia and respiratory distress. Influenza usually will not cause any complication but definitely yes it can cause complication in a high risk population. For example newborns, elderly groups, immunocompromised group or though, those who have any comorbid medical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, COPD Okay, so these are the high risk populations for them. Respiratory viral infections and encephalitis, these kind of complications are expected. So, uh, we have to identify the high risk population first. Interventions include symptomatic management, respiratory isolation and respiratory precautions and breathing problem can be treated by oxygen. Remember, always humidified oxygen is preferred to reduce dryness of mucous membrane. Hydration really helps to thin the secretions and antiviral medications can be given. And remember the flu shot or influenza vaccination. Every yearly, the patient should get a vaccination. Remember that influenza, it is a virus. And every yearly, this virus gets genetically mutated. So the patient requires every year vaccination. Okay, so influenza vaccine is usually considered as an yearly vaccination. And before administering this vaccination, egg allergy has to be assessed. That is also one important point. So far I have discussed the influenza and the important questions. I hope everything is clear. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. We will meet with the next video.